Two of the most recognizable landmarks in Tampa, Brown Tampa Bay are the region's historic pink hotels, the Benoit in St. Pete, the Don Cesar in St. Pete Beach. But did you know there was actually a third historic pink hotel in our area? The Hacienda in Newport Ritchie was a popular destination for the rich and famous for decades. Well, it's been vacant and in disrepair since the late 80s. But thanks to a new ambitious new owner, it's all set for a major comeback. When you look at a picture of an exterior or interior of a, of a hotel taken almost 100 years ago, and then you're standing in that location, and you're looking at it again, and there it still, it still stands. Preserving that is, is important. We are currently at the Hacienda, located in the heart of downtown Newport Ritchie. This hotel is a classic hotel from 1927. It was uh, closed, boarded up fenced off building and uh, had been converted to an alternate use for, for a number of years and, and was now just sitting and rotting away. What we have done over the last several years is, is, is restore that. Much easier to build originally than it was to restore it. It's on the National Register of Historic Places, but the internal structure essentially had to be completely redone. I mean, so we probably replaced about I would say somewhere close to 85% of, of, of all of the internal structure of the building. When people walk through the doors of the Hacienda, we really want them to feel like they've stepped back in time to a time where there is this relaxation and you're just surrounded by the natural beauty of Sims Park. It's a neat little hotel, about 40 guest rooms and, and one suite. We do also have a full-service restaurant and bar that will be open seven days a week. It's called Sasha's on the Park. So we will have outdoor dining as well and uh, a private dining room. So we do uh, expect people to be able to come and just enjoy a cocktail or dinner in addition to staying the night. We certainly attempted and did manage to save some of the features that are much more architecturally interesting um, and significant. Um, so, you know, they've been here for 95 years and we certainly didn't want to be the ones, or I didn't want to be the one that sort of, you know, hit it with a, hit it with a sledgehammer and knocked it down. We worked, I think, hard to try to make it feel like if you walk in that it, it, it is indeed a historic hotel and it does indeed back, date back to 1927. A lot of people don't realize this, but at the time there was a there was quite a, a, a cache of celebrities that were calling, beginning to call Newport Ritchie their home. A few started, and then they told their friends, and before you know it, more and more people were coming to this area. And so they needed a hotel, but they needed something that was going to be a little more grand, as it were. As the town began to grow, you know, it became the center of of, of activity. You know, the Hacienda has been a part of Newport Ritchie for 95 years, and it's it's kind of an icon of downtown here. And to really bring it back to life, I think, is just such an exciting thing for both the community and the people who have watched this building through the years. Like a lot of historic properties, it's had its you know ups and downs and, and, and such. But, you know, hopefully it's good for another 95 plus years, you know, after this. Nice. nice story by photojournalist Corey Beckman. And starting this Friday, the 15th, the Hacienda is open for business. You can go to the website on the screen right now and you can book a room. That's HaciendaHotelNPR.com.